Good morning. It's 10 minutes past 7 o'clock, 67 degrees. I'm Mark Hobson. Thursday, September the 12th, in time for local news. Brought to you by Rich Mountain Community College, by the Beasley Wood Funeral Home, and by the First National Bank. Banking the way it should be. Our Thrifty Thursday store opens this morning at 7.45 a.m. here at the Mina Radio Studios. We have items uh, for sale on a first-come, first-served basis. Here is your Thrifty Thursday storekeeper, Dwight Douglas, with a list of items available today. Mark will open up with Baywash Car Wash coupons, an extra value coupon worth $10. We'll sell it for $5. Branson Show tickets, two adult admissions, various shows, $67 value, $20 for the pair. Chopping Block Restaurant, a $10 certificate, limit two per purchase for $7 each. Curves of Mina, sign-up fee and one-month membership, a $96 value for $20. Friendship House, a $10 coupon for food, limit one for $7. Indulgent Salon, a woman's haircut, limit one, a $20 value for $12. Indulgent Salon, a man or a child's haircut, limit one please, a $12 value for $6. Jordan Tire and Hatfield, standard oil change, five quarts and a filter and lube, new lower price, it's a $40 value for $20. Kids first, $25 off after school care, new lower price, $12. Lime Tree Restaurant, $10 certificate for lunch buffet and a soft drink, $6. Meat Works, a $10 coupon for $5. Mina Cosmetology, a $25 coupon for services, For $12, limit one, Paxton's Place, scrapbooking and card making class, $15 value, new lower price, $5. Rent-A-Center, $50 off new or existing rental agreement for $30. Salon de Jean, shellac nails by Sarah, $20 value for $15. The Meadery, $10, daily special home-cooked take-home meal for $5. The Shop, a full month of unlimited tanning, a $45 value, new lower price, $19. And Wendy's and Mina, spicy chicken combo or quarter-pound Cheeseburger combo, pick two, $12.28 value for only $7. We'll open up at 745 here at the studios this morning at KENA. No telephone calls, please, until after 8 o'clock. I'm your Thrifty Thursday storekeeper, Dwight Douglas. In other news today, Tim Bowen, the chief executive officer at the Mena Regional Health System, has a monthly report for the hospital. The summer trend of lower volumes at the hospital continued through August. Inpatient admissions were 117. ER visits were 789, 20 newborn deliveries, and 120 surgical cases. Many regional health systems would like to invite you to our fifth annual health fair to be held September 21st at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the hospital. This will be a wonderful event for the entire family. A large number of exhibitors will be present to offer free health screenings, education, and prevention information. Many activities for the children will also be available, such as inflatable obstacle course, physical fitness challenge, face painting, and balloon animals. The Mena Police Department has also volunteered to do thumbprints for the kids for personal identification cards. The MRHS Relay for Life will be grilling hamburgers and many door prizes will be given out throughout the day. This is certainly an event that will be enjoyable for the whole family and we hope that you can attend. Also, don't forget if you need a primary care provider, Dr. Webb is accepting new patients. Thank you and this is Tim Bowen with the Mena Hospital Report. Now Terry Nugent with the monthly report for the MENA for the MENA Advertising and Promotion Commission. July AMP tax revenues from restaurants are thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty nine dollars, and July tax revenues from lodging are six thousand forty two dollars, both an increase from the previous month. There is one restaurant in arrears for two months, and no motels in arrears. There were thirty nine brochure requests in August, and an additional fifty five requests from the spring and summer insert. I'd like to remind everyone that Wilhelmina Tour to the Top is September 21st. This is a great event and is expected to be even bigger than last year. The next AMP Commission meeting is scheduled for October 1st, 5.30 p.m. at City Hall. This is Terry Nugent reporting for the MENA Advertising and Promotion Commission. Now, MENA Water Utilities Manager Charles Pittman with an update on the installation of the new water meter system made the decision to replace all the meters in the system. It's about a $1.2 million project. Right now, our date for them to start changing is October the 21st. The reason we change them out is meters age get less accurate. So we have a lot of meters that are reading low or, or have stopped reading. And we have a high water loss because, of course, we're still selling water, but we're not being able to bill people for it because it doesn't flow through their meter. We can't bill them for it. We're hiring it out completely. 
There's a company that's going to come around and there's a crew that will come through town changing the meters out. They'll have to get it done within 120 days and they don't expect it to take that long. We'll get letters out to our customers closer to the time that there'll be someone at their yard, but they'll be notified. Either they'll get a knock on the door and if they're home, then they'll be informed that their meters can be off for about 30 minutes or less. If they're not at home, they'll leave a little placard on your door when you get home. They'll just say that, hey, while you were gone, your meter was changed out. But one of the things that's neat and interesting with this is right now we have to get within like three feet of the meter with a handheld wand. It reads the meter, sends a little radio signal from a transponder on the lid up to the wand, and it takes us two guys five whole days to read our meters. With this new system that we're going to get, there's going to be different radio transmitters, and they are going to feed up to five collectors around the community. And there'll be real time every so many hours the reading will come into the office every day. So we'll be able to keep track of if someone's got a leak, we'll know about it within hours or days instead of weeks or months. Right now, we kind of pull people from other jobs to do it. So this is going to be able to more evenly schedule everyone's work day. Basically, there's three people that get switched around for a whole week, so that lowers productivity in another department, two departments almost. It's going to be a more efficient department. Well, the city's 2013 street paving projects will begin on Tuesday. Here's Dwight Douglas with the story. Mena Mayor George McKee said the street improvement program will begin on South Mena Street from Highway 71 to Holly Street on Tuesday, September 17th. He said crews will first mill up all the existing asphalt from curb to curb, then a second contractor will put down a two-inch layer of hot mix overlay. Also, Morgan Street from Ransom Road to Bus Barn Road has recently been widened and will receive a layer of hot mix as part of the 2013 Street Improvement Program. Funding for both of these street improvements is furnished by revenues from the city's portion of the special one-cent county road tax. He said hot mix overlay will also be applied to the roadway at Aubrey Tapley Park from the entrance to the soccer fields and to the baseball fields. This project is being funded by a grant received from the Arkansas Department of Parks and Tourism Outdoor Recreation Grants Program. He expressed his appreciation for your patience for the slight inconvenience during this time of progress beginning on Tuesday. Reporting for Mena Radio News, Dwight Douglas. The Ladies of Liberty are going to be hosting a Constitution Day event on Tuesday at 5.30 in Jansen Park. There's going to be a water balloon reenactment of the Revolutionary War and more. Shelley Alston has details. The Polk County Ladies of Liberty will be hosting a Constitution Day celebration this Tuesday at Jansen Park. Our guest speakers include Secretary of State Mark Martin and Polk County Judge Brandon Ellison. Bring your kids to this fun-filled event with free hot dogs, popcorn, and snow cones, plus games including potato sack races, face painting, pocket-sized constitutions, and even an appearance by Arkansas's own Lady Liberty. Please join us at Jansen Park Tuesday from 5.30 to 8 p.m. We look forward to seeing you there. The Ladies of Liberty will be having a meeting this evening at 6 p.m. at the Jansen Park Gazebo in preparation for the Constitution Day event. If you want information, call 216-8639. Well, the Dirks Police Department and the Howard County Sheriff's Department have received reports of three separate thefts in the Dirks area on September 10th. Uh, Johnny McKnight reported the theft of a single-axle black utility trailer with gray wheels. Uh, Tommy Holden reported the theft of a 2010 red Honda four-wheeler, and Sheila Udy reported the theft of a green 2006 Polaris 450 Sportsman. The owners of these items uh, stated that the thefts occurred between the hours of 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. on September the 10th. If you have seen uh, any items that match these descriptions or have any information concerning these thefts, call the Dirks Police Department at 870-286-2241 or the Howard County Sheriff's Office at 870-845-2626. Van Cove Elementary School is hosting a camping-themed family literacy night on Tuesday from 6 to 7.30 in the auditorium. Parents, students, and the community are welcome to come and enjoy a fun night where teachers will offer information about their students' literacy education Teachers will also demonstrate ways caregivers can help children at home become successful readers and foster a lifelong love of reading. Join them for hot dogs, s'mores, door prizes, free books, and reading. Mina Radio listeners will once again have an opportunity to win tickets to the AAA Texas 500 NASCAR race, tickets to the truck and nationwide events, plus pit passes. 
It happens the first week in November at the Texas Motor Speedway north of Dallas, and you can start registering tomorrow afternoon at participating sponsors, including Washburn's Home Furnishings, the Farmers Co-op in Mina, Miners A&B Tire, the Country Express, Something Fishy Pet Store, Charmed, and the Neighborhood Barbershop. Registration ends on Friday the 27th. Winners will be announced on Monday, September 30th. Keep listening to Mina Radio. Look on the Mina Radio Facebook page or our website, MinaRadio.com, for more information. On the sports schedule today, the Mina Volleyball teams will be playing at Jesseville today. Uh, Games start at 4 o'clock. The Mina Junior High football games uh, will be at Nashville today. The 8th grade starts at 5.30, the ninth grade at 7 o'clock. And now for today's obituaries. Sheila Louise Godwin, age 38, of Washington State, formerly of Mina, passed away September 2nd. Graveside services are today at 10 a.m. at the Pleasant Grove Cemetery in Cove with arrangements under the direction of the Beasley Wood Funeral Home. Judith Judy Lynn Maggard, age 76, passed away September 9th. Survivors include her son, Steve Maggard, and wife Lisa, Philip Maggard, and wife Alma, Paul Maggard, and wife Bonnie, his daughters Diana Duke and husband Dwayne, and Anna B. Hamby of Octavia, Oklahoma. Funeral services are tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Octavia Baptist Church interment in the Octavia Cemetery. Visitation with family and friends is today from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Beasley Wood Funeral Home. Pamela Sisk Wells, age 60, Amina, passed away September 1st. Memorial services are Saturday at 1 p.m. in the Beasley Wood Funeral Home Chapel. John Al Anglin, age 87, of Smithville, passed away on Sunday. He is survived by his sons, Vic and wife Angela Anglin of Smithville, John and Pamela Anglin, three daughters, Davy Ann Montgomery, Laura Foster, and Patience Ayers. A memorial service will be Saturday at 2 p.m. at the First Baptist Church in Hatfield under the direction of the Bowser Family Funeral Home. Clyde Morris, age 83 of Mina, passed away on Tuesday. He is survived by his wife, Norma Jean Morris, his children, Donna Camp, Glenn Morris, Karen Bresky, Janet Williams, Scott Morris, and also Gail Morris of Mina. Mr. Morris was sent for cremation under the direction of the Beasley Wood Funeral Home. In lieu of flowers, memorials can be made to the Humane Society of the Washita's. No services are scheduled at this time. ABC Sports is next. As the leaves pile higher, the days get shorter. A John Deere from Southwest Arkansas Equipment can help you make the most of your time while crossing off all the chores on your fall to-do list. And right now, Southwest Arkansas Equipment has some great deals on John Deere compact utility tractors for fall. Get 0% financing for 60 months, plus $500 off all compact utility tractors when you buy two John Deere or Frontier branded implements. Plus save even more on 3E series tractors. Gear up for fall now while you've got the time. These days are going to start getting shorter before you know it, and these deals will be gone. Visit Southwest 